Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Those who have been with me for the past month know we've been wading through some of the classic villains of TV and film animation. And now we're going to swing the pendulum to the other side and draw some of the heroes of TV and film animation. And when I say heroes, I don't necessarily mean crime fighters. In general, I mean characters who display integrity, character, someone who's honest, faithful, that kind of thing. And to start off, we're going to head back to the golden age of cartoon animation. We're going to draw Popeye, who who first appeared in the King Features comic strip Thimble Theater in 1929, before popping onto the big screen in 1933. Anyway, before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow, and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's draw the one and only Popeye the Sailor Man. We're going to draw Popeye step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In this pose, Popeye is a little over three heads tall. In other words, however tall his head is, the entire character is a little over three of those, okay? So let's start with that roadmap for Popeye. So there's a roadmap for Popeye. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help you to know where to put Popeye's eyes, nose, mouth, and some of the other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. Okay, so let's rough out the features for Popeye.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features of Popeye. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for the final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw on the final details of Popeye. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. Always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. All right, so let's draw in the details for Popeye. Alrighty, there he is. Strong to the finish, because he eats his spinach. He's Popeye the Sailor Man. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Popeye before, you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. He is surprisingly difficult. You notice I don't spend time coloring Popeye during this video because I want my lessons to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Popeye. And with that, you can draw him again and again. And by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So I'd love to see your drawing of Popeye. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.